Hey everybody, welcome back to Jeremy Does Plant Stuff. It has been less than 24 hours since my last video, well, depending on when I actually upload this video. But I'm making this one uh, so quickly after the last one because I was watching uh, some gardening videos on YouTube this morning and happened to see a video about growing cucumbers. It was Gary at the Rusted Garden and since I've never grown cucumbers, I thought, hey, why don't I watch that and see if I learn anything? And I learned almost immediately that I made some pretty big mistakes yesterday with these cucumber seeds that I'm going to have to fix today. Mistake number one, starting them way too early. Gary says four to five weeks max before your last frost date because then you can put them in the ground. And I said, whoops, I'm about seven weeks out. I think that first mistake I can overcome since I'm growing these in containers and I can move them in and out as the weather changes as needed. The second mistake, which I will have to fix today, and that's why we're here, is I planted these seeds, way too many, in a very small container, and that's not good for cucumbers. Apparently they want a lot more room. So today, I'll be moving those seeds into pots like this and pots like this. And I've decided to turn this into a bit of an experiment as well. I have some compost here, I have some ordinary potting soil, and I have some seed starting mix. I also have some granular fertilizer which I'll mix in. And to the bottom of this little spreadsheet I've made a little list here. So I will keep track of cuke number 8, cuke number 7, cuke number 6, etc. on this chart and see what works, what doesn't work. Maybe we'll even learn something from this. So let's get started. First, I need to find my seeds from yesterday. So give me a minute. I think I've managed to find all 14 of the seeds I planted yesterday. This is all of them. I've got 14 here, five big pots, three small pots. I'm gonna do two each in the big pots, that's 10. And then I've got three more for these and I'll have one extra. So I think what I'm going to do, since cucumbers need a lot of fertilizer, is actually mix in some of this slow-release fertilizer into a few of these pots, and I'll also start some without it, and we'll see if that makes any difference at all. So I'm going to start by filling up a few pots with regular potting mix, one with just compost, and two with a mixture of potting mix and compost. Okay, time to put the seeds in. Down to about the first knuckle. Two in each. Okay, top these off. I'll put a little bit of this slow release fertilizer on the top. Probably should have mixed it in, but I forgot. So here we go. Fertilize the mixture and fertilize the potting mix only. Give it a little bit of a water. Now I need to label these before I forget. I'm going to call this one through five. The good thing about recording this, I've already kind of forgotten what's going on here. I can go back and watch the video and revise my notes if needed. Now, these last little containers will each get one seed. I have likely just enough seed mix only. I'm going to put some fertilizer in this and stir it up a little. There we go, now that fertilizer will live farther down into the pot, so maybe when the roots are coming down, they'll find that. So I'm putting one seed in here. Looks like I've got a mixture here, mostly compost at the bottom, again with fertilizer. So this one is uh, mostly compost with fertilizer. This would be number seven. Number eight. This would be the smorgasbord. Everything that's left in here with fertilizer. And it's a little low, so I'll top it off with seed starting mix. And in goes that seed. Get these tags in. And these will go back to the heat mat and we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. That's the end of this segment of fixing mistakes corner for my next trick I'm going to be trying to fix some mistakes I made with my overwintered peppers 
Let's go take a look. Okay, so these are my overwintered peppers, which you may have seen in previous videos. Uh, I've learned very recently that I made a huge, huge mistake that probably killed off a lot of these. For some reason, I had it in my head that I needed to cover this area with something to keep the light out. I don't know where I got that idea to keep them in a cool, dark place, but that was a big mistake. And a few of these show some signs of life, but a lot of these are just brittle and they're probably dead. But what I'm going to do is get these out of here, clean up the soil, add a little fertilizer and see if I can revitalize at least a few of these. I did have one reaper that was in here covered up and it still shot off a little branch and grew some leaves throughout the winter and I'll show you that one now. So this is the reaper that actually was growing through the winter with no light. This little offshoot here put on a ton of leaves and they were very very pale. They still are but they're getting better. I put some fertilizer down there try to green these up a bit and keep them going and I have a lot of new growth along this stem here which is also a good sign so this one may actually make it the others I'm not too hopeful here's another one and again just dead but this main stem is green so I think I'll cut this off here to get rid of this dead wood and also amend this soil get some fertilizer going in there and see what happens so here we go with mistake number two this is one of the peppers that was shielded from all light all winter because I'm an idiot um, there is just a bit of green on this stem but it's very dry and brittle up here I think it might be completely dead it does appear to be holding on down here so what I'm going to do with this one and again this is an experiment don't do what I do ever I'm going to try to get some of this sand off the top it did a great job keeping the fungus gnats at bay by the way so if you're having trouble with gnats consider some stand I'm gonna get this one opened up and look at the root ball mm hmm uh, it appears to be roots coming through this bottom layer here which is basically just landscaping fabric just trying to figure out if this thing has any kind of a root ball just for fun Probably won't do this with the others. Not much of one, if there is one at all. No, nothing. This thing just disintegrated. Oh yeah, and it's, I just realized it's completely dead. So, well, that one's done. Let me grab another one, see if I can find one that's actually maybe alive. So this one still has a little bit of spring in its step. It's not, well, no, it's dead too. God dang. Dead all the way down. What I thought was green is really not green. It's more of a brown. This one's done. Let me see if I can grab another one. Okay, so this is one of the more promising plants. It is actually green here. These top branches are almost dead, but they do have a little bit of bend in them, which tells me it might have some life left in it. Let me clear away this sand and I'm going to try to amend this soil and see if I can bring this thing back to life. This is another reaper. I'm getting all this top layer off. I don't want to rip any of these top roots so I'm not going too deep. And I'm going to throw in some of this 344 slow release soil down here. And you know what? Since I have it, I'm going to put some blood meal in here too. Okay, I've got my blood meal here just a little bit. All right, and I'm going to top this back off with some of this soil just to cover the fertilizer and give it a little mix to nicely distribute it. And then a layer of compost right back up to where it was before, or as best as I can tell. And then a good watering in. You know, I'm not sure what to do about this here because it's not... I broke this part off, but it's not really dried out and dead like some of the other ones. I might snip that part off that I just tore. And leave a little bit of the fork on there. This still has a lot of green and it's nice and flexible. 
I think this one may still have some life in it. In fact, it has some tiny little leaves right there. So that's a good sign. So this one will probably have the best chance out of all of them to make it other than the Reaper I showed you earlier that had the leaves on it. This is probably number two. So I've got this labeled. I wrote down on my spreadsheet what I did with this one in case I make the same mistake next year and have to try to save these things again. I won't do that. Sometimes I learn from my mistakes. It's quite miraculous. But uh, this is just another good example of when you're doing something, it really is a good idea to research. Just watch a few videos on YouTube at least. Maybe you'll learn something and maybe you'll prevent yourself from making the same stupid mistakes I do. Uh, I should probably add this disclaimer to all of my videos, but don't ever do what I'm doing. A lot of times I dive into things thinking I know what I'm doing and then I realize later when it's too late or possibly too late that I made a big mistake. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Jeremy tries to fix his plants stuff. Uh, or maybe we'll call it Experiment Corner. Or maybe we'll call this segment Trying to Fix Stupid Mistakes. Part number one of what will likely be a thousand episode series because I make mistake after mistake after mistake. And uh, I'll show you that. Uh, some of the other stupid mistakes I make I might not show you because they're just they're just disappointing and embarrassing. But here's a pro tip. If you call everything you do an experiment, when it doesn't work, it doesn't sting as much. So try that. I uh, hope you like this update. Stay tuned for more updates on this, the cucumbers, and everything else I'm doing. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I will see you next time. Bye.